Hello everyone, you are welcome to today's class. So in this video, we want to look at another topic and that is a ratio. As you can see on the board, we are looking at ratios today. And under this, we are not going to cover everything today, but we are going to look at these objectives. So we want to look at the meaning, what is the meaning of ratio, then as we move to uh, how to simplify ratios, then sharing ratios, are uh, sharing quantities in the given ratios. This is what I think we want to look at in this video. So let's come to the class and uh, let's put our minds in what we want to learn here today so that we can achieve the best out of the video. So the first thing is that what is ratio? Ratio is a way of comparing the sizes of two or more quantities or items. So we have, for instance, we have uh, something like we have books. We have books, we have uh, bags, right? So when we have five books, uh, three bags. So we want to represent this, we want to compare it uh, in using ratio. We can just say the ratio of books to bags is what five ratio or three. Or we want to compare the ratio of bags to that of books. That would be three ratio word five. So the what uh, the item mentioned first will be the number that we're going to write first. So if we have the ratio of books to bags is five to three, we have three five books, three bags. So that is going to have five to three. So it can be written in three form in three ways. We have three ways of writing. So that we write it this way. So for example, let me say the ratio. So we have five books, five books, three bags, right? So in writing this in ratio to be what the ratio, the ratio of books. I find the ratio, find the ratio of books to what? To bags, right? That's the first one. So that means we can write this with five, we should find the three, or we write it like this. Five to three. So this column here means two, right? Then we can as well write it as fraction. That is five divided by what three. We say the same thing. So which way we are talking about ratios, we are also talking about fractions. You understand? The way we write uh, ratio is the same thing way we write what fraction. But if the first if it comes this way, that ratio of bags to books. So how many bags do we have there? Three bags. It will be three to what? Five. Or three all over what? Five. How this is clear. So that's what we call, uh, well, that's the meaning of ratio. We are trying to compare the, the sizes of uh, quantities or items uh, in a given ratio. So that's the ratio. Ratio means comparing the sizes of a given quantity or items. So we are comparing. So that is that on the meaning of ratio. Then we move to simplifying ratios. So we're going to uh, look at that. So when we talk about simplification of ratios, it's the same way we simplify fractions. So when you ask to simplify fractions, you ask to reduce uh, it to its lowest term. You reduce in such a way that there will be no factor that can divide both the numerator and the denominator. The same way with this one. As you can see from the board now, we have 5 to 3. There is no factor that can divide 5 and also divide what? 3. So this has been simplified to its lowest term. So that's what we want to look at, how to simplify what ratio uh, to uh, their simplest frame. That's what we're looking at under this boner. So let's look at examples now. Oh, all right. These are the examples that we have here now. Simplifying ratio. Let's look at examples. So when we are simplifying ratio, it means that we are reducing the ratio to its simplest form, right? So examples are this. Express the following ratios in their simplest forms, right? So we have this 14 to 28, 5 to uh, 2 over 2 over 3, then 0 0.5 to 15, 1 over 3 to 0 0.25. That is the first one. That is the first part, which is uh, number one. That is the first example. Then this is example two, right? So let's look at the solution uh, one by one. So the first thing, solution to this. So solutions now. Solutions, the first one, 
which is 14 ratio 28. So we look for numbers that can divide both of them without the remainder. That's what we're going to look at. So, so let's, you can do it in two ways. Let me divide it both in two. You can do it in two ways. Is that you reduce this, uh, you write it as a fraction, or you just continue like that. So as we have it, seven can divide this one. So when you use seven to divide this, you get two. When you use seven to divide this, you get what? Four. So that's not, or there's a no factor. It's a number that can go in both of them as well, right? So two can divide them, that is one. So two can also divide them, that is what? Two. So this is the answer. We have simplified it to its lowest form. So we can simplify for that. That is, we cannot reduce this to its lowest form again, right? So if that is, we'll move to number two. Number two, we have five to two all number, two all over three. So you can see this is a fraction, this is a whole number. So what we're going to do is this. You know, I said we can write ratio as fraction. It's like we can write this one as five divided by, which is five all over two all number, two over three. So which we can rewrite to be five divided by two all number, two all over three. We are still saying the same thing. Exactly. So we can now going to uh, simplify this. So five divided by two all number two over three. That will be two times three, six plus two. That is eight. Eight over three. So which we give us five times. We change this one to uh, multiplication. Then we flip. We're going to swap uh, the fraction. So three will come up. Eight will come down. Exactly. Exactly. Good. So this is. Divided by 1. 5 times 3 is what? 15. Then 1 times 8 is 8. So the ratio will then be what? The ratio will be what? 15 to what? To 8. So that is the solution to this one. I hope this is clear. Right. So, so move to the, uh, the third one. The third one. The third one, which is 0 0.5 to 15. So 0 0.5 here, we can write this as a fraction. When you have decimal like this, what you expect to do is to write it as fraction. So we're going to write this one as fraction. So this will be what? 5 divided by what? So you just pick the whole number that you have there. You've done this one before. Then divided by 1. How many digits do you, do you have after the decimal point? We have only one digit, which is 5. So that will be so we are going to write 1 0 here. That means 5 all over 10. So 5 divided by 10 will also give us 0 0.5. Hope that is clear. So then this, since we can write it as a fraction, so we just divide it by 15 over 1. Then we can then move to 5 divided by 10 times 1 all over what? 15. So this gives 5 year 1, 5 year 3. That is 1 times 1, 1. 10 times 3, 30. So that means the the ratio, this ratio will then be what? Ratio 1 to what? To 30. Answer. You'll be able to simplify that. So that is that one. That one. Then we we'll look at the next one, which is number 4. As you can see, this is a uh, simple number 4. Number 4. Number 4 here is uh, 1 over 3. So 0 0.75. So we have fraction and decimal together. So what we're going to do, the same thing we convert this one to a uh, fraction. What is a fraction? This will be 1 over 3. Then ratio will change to what? Division, right? Then 75 divided by what? 100. Right? That's divided by 100. Divided by 100. So dividing by on. So in this case, we're going to have uh, 1 divided by 3 times 100 over what? 75. So what can go here? So 25 can go here 3. 25 can go here what? 4. So we then have 1 times 4. 4. 3 times 3, then 9. So that is an answer of what? Ratio 4 to what? To 9. We cannot solve for that. This is where we're going to stop. Right.
So that is that on the number. Then the, the last part here, which is find the ratio of 300 grams to 1 kilograms as a fraction in its lowest term. So what you're going to notice in this question is that there are different units. So this one is in gram, why this one is in what kilogram? So the first thing we need to do is to convert them to a single unit. So you can decide to convert this one to kilogram or you convert this one to what? Gram. Exactly. So from, from there you can then what? Simplify. So what we're going to do now is this. So we are going, this is uh, going to be 300 grams to what? One kilogram. So how many grams make one kilogram? That's 1,000 grams. So that means it's what? 300 grams to 1,000 what? Grams. So that is it. So as fraction, we, so we're going to write it down 300 divided by what? 1,000. Find the ratio of 300 grams to, so that is, so this cancel what? This. So it should then be what? 3 all over what? 10. That is the answer. So we can't solve for that here because as a fraction, we leave it as a fraction. So that is that on the simplifying ratio. So sharing quantity in a given ratio, that's the next one. So we look, we're going to look at these examples to solve uh, the problem. So we have a cake contains fats, proteins, and a carbohydrate. It contains fats, protein, and a carbohydrate in the ratio 8 to 4 to 2. That means the first, uh, that, uh, the first thing we have there is fat. That one carries 8, protein carries 4, and carbohydrate carries what? 2. So find the weight of each component if the cake weighs 1,540 grams. So the first thing we're going to do is this. Solution. Solution here. So the first thing we're going to add the ratios together. So addition of the ratio. So we have the ratios. So addition of ratio 8 plus 4 plus 2. That gives us that gives uh, 14. Total ratio gives 14. So we now pick them one by one. Fat. So what will be the weight, the fat, the weight of the fat here? So it's going to be fat represents eight. That will be eight divided by the total, which is fourteen. Then what do we have? How many uh, weights is the cake? That is one thousand five hundred forty multiplied by one thousand five hundred and forty. So we can then simplify this. So eight here, uh, two here, uh, four, two here was seven. Right, seven can go here. Seven here one. 7 here to remain the 1 in 14, that's also 2, that's 220. So that is, we have 220 multiplied by 4, to which we give us what? 880 grams. So that is the fat in this case weighs 880 grams. So the same thing we've done for protein. Protein that we have here, we have protein. Protein. We then the protein we carry four, right? The ratio four. That would be four divided by the total of the ratio is fourteen multiplied by the uh, the total weight of the cake, which is one thousand five hundred and forty. This is the first thing to do. Four two here two two years seven seven here that is what two hundred and what twenty. <clears throat> Hope I'm making sense. So that gives us 440 grams. And the last one, which is carbohydrate, which is what? Carbohydrate. Carbohydrate. So we be 2 divided by 14 multiplied by 1540. 2 year 1, 2 year 7. This is what? 220. So that means carbohydrate has what? 220 grams 
and the case. So that is example one. So we look at another example, then we call it a day. Second example here. So the ratio of the cost price to the selling price of a car is two to three. If the car costs 120,000 naira, find the selling price. So the first thing we need to find to do here, we'll be given the ratio of car, the ratio of the cost, which means cost was mentioned first, then selling price. So cost we have two, while the selling price we have what three. Over and will be two. So in that case, and if the car cost, we are given the cost of the car. Find the selling price. So it's very simple. This is what we're going to do. So since what we have, the ratios given is two to three. So let's add total ratio now. Total ratio is two plus three, which is what five. Right? Then cost price. Let me put this in. CP plus selling price will give us, let it represent X. Let it represent X. Now, so since the addition of cost price and the selling price gives this, then the cost price, the ratio of the cost price, now, the ratio, the, the, the value of the cost price will then be cost, which is 2, that will be 2 out of what? Five multiplied by the total, the addition of cost price and selling price is what x is equal to. We have given the value of the cost, which is one hundred twenty thousand naira. That is one hundred and twenty thousand. So we now find the the addition of these two first, which is x. Are you with me? So then we're going to have two x equals to five multiplied by what one hundred and what twenty. Divide both sides by two. By two. Two cancel two. Two here, that is what? 60,000. 60,000 times five will give us 300,000. That is the addition of the cost price and the selling price gives us what? 300,000. Now, out of this 300,000, 120,000 goes for what? Cost price. So, which means selling price now will then be what? 300,000. Thousand minus what one hundred and what twenty thousand, right? So this will then give us one hundred and what eighty thousand naira. So that's how to find the value of the what selling price of the product of the car. So oh, I believe this is very clear to us. So this will be to stop in this video. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you. Turn on your call, notification bell so that anytime I release uh, invaluable videos like this, you'll be able to get innovation first and uh, uh, benefit from it. So, in the next video, we'll be talking about we you know we tutored sharing points in a given ratio, then we look at another aspect of what of ratio. So, bye for now. We'll meet in the next class. Thank you.